All right, let's get this over with. Hold on. My eyes. My eyes. My ears. My eyes. <laughs> I did not uh I did not enjoy this episode have not been have not been enjoying this show. I I I know. I know. I know. Uh let me adjust my camera while I say this. I know um if you don't know about him, he's a fellow on the YouTubes called Professor Geek. I uh, respect his opinion because he is oh, too bright. He's a uh, literature teacher of like, mythology as well. So he says that you know people people with comic book stories, people are like it's for kids, it's fiction. Who cares? Things you watch influence you. I don't care what it is you read if you watch the news 24 7 you're probably gonna have a negative outlook if you read inspirational even if it was an inspirational children's book you'd have a better life at least outlook anyway um professor geek says if you don't like stuff don't bring it up don't watch it don't hashtag it just for views i don't know why i'm here i think i'm just trying to get views but um I'm also holding up because it has the name Hulk in it, but this is probably probably going to be the last series where I watch it. Just and either I don't know if I'm if you call it hate watching or just putting up with it, because maybe it'll get better. Probably not. There are elements that are good, but then there are things that just take you out of it, like what I'm about to describe. So I, I have the show up here. I'm gonna. Uh, kind of look through it as um, as I'm describing it here. So it opens up. Jin is going to Emil Blonsky, trying to see why he broke out. We all, if you've seen Shang Chi, we know it was Wong. It turns out Wong broke him out against his will, so he can fight to become uh, Sorcerer Supreme. Um. Something that was kind of funny, Jin is on her way to work, and she mentions that we're not going to do a cameo every week, except Bruce and Wong and Emil. I was like, all right, that's kind of kind of funny. However, we come to this little newsreel, and <laughs> so this 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 does that. There's two points that come up. One. Uh, everyone's like, well, sh well, She-Hulk and Abomination are in cahoots because they're both monsters. I'm like, you know, the Abomination and the actual Hulk, Hulk fought. The, bo uh, the Abomination got loose. Uh, originally, the Abomination was working for the government, trying to get the Hulk, and then it, like, reversed. But, like, if that was through, what was it, Harlan? Like, hello, people would know that they're fighting against each other. Now you have, it's just She-Hulk. Actual, if it was somebody else, maybe Bruce's cousin, and you think that they're working together. If anything, you should be surprised that they are. I'm like, come on. Second of all, they have this little series of like, like car videos. I ironically, I'm making a video myself here, but like car videos where it's either, and this, this does not work within its own universe. They sit. This guy's saying, like, they took the Hulk's manhood away and gave it a She-Hulk. I'm like, not really. But this other guy says, I don't care about female superheroes. Just make your own. Like, tweets about, like, just make your own female superhero. I'm like, that. this, this is a universe where superheroes happening is a freak result. It is not somebody, something somebody made on purpose. Okay? Someone didn't decide to become the She-Hulk. And the, either this or the comics, but um, I'm like, just just stop. Like, I I see the point you're trying to make, which is like, this is what people say in real life. This does not work within <laughs> its own universe. Like, if 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 you had, if I was in the MCU, a little civilian, and you had every hero gender swapped, I wouldn't care because I would just say, protect me from Thanos. I don't care what you look like. Just <laughs> just help me, please. No one out there in this universe should be complaining about the gender of a superhero. That is like they, they <laughs> it's, 
they tried so hard to make this little statement, but it doesn't work. It's like the same little argument Jen gave to Bruce. Like, it doesn't work within your own universe. People are like, well, this is a female's experience. I can understand that. Don't say that she is better than Bruce that's been dealing with it for 15 years. And people are like, well, it's real life experience. But she addressed it to Bruce. She said, I'm infinitely better than you. And then, comically enough, she turns into (laughs) She-Hulk. Like, I don't know if that was on purpose. I'm like, pick, pick, pick something. And then she gets, side note, she gets assaulted at the end. And then she has to consciously become the She-Hulk. I'm like, shouldn't you be afraid? Shouldn't that happen? So, uh, that, that took me out of the show. Like, come on. Like, nobody is going to say this. There's a tweet that says someone find a can find a reason to cancel the She Hulk. Uh, I'm gonna read these. It's like just stop, like car videos. <laughs> uh, <laughs> affirmative action with superheroes. No more female superheroes, please. Why are you turning every superhero into a girl? Nobody would say this if it's a matter of protecting your life. If if burglar showed up. And nothing but female cops showed up. I would say, thank you for saving my life. I wouldn't say, cops were male. Why are you all female? <laughs> like, get out of here. It's just, I don't care what you feel on the political spectrum or whatever. Uh, oh, my goodness. It says, now we have a hashtag Me Too movement, and now all the male heroes are gone. Bro, they are dead. Or or in hiding. The Hulk is kind of busy. Thor is kind of busy. Off world. Uh, Hawkeye is <laughs> like running for his life, trying to stay hidden. Like stop this. Like you, they are trying to address. And I'm like, who are you talking to? Because obviously you're trying to make a point to the audience, male audience probably. But I'm like, but you can't just regurgitate this in your own show. It doesn't really. It doesn't work. Pretty, very lame. All right. And then uh, I don't even know this guy's name, but Jen's former co-worker shows up. And this guy is like a caricature of the absolute worst that a man could be. Or like what women think the worst. Of. No, I don't want to say that. It's just like a vile pig of a man. And I have a problem with this because if this guy acted like this, Male or female, ladies or gentlemen, if you have a coworker that sounds like this, report him and get him fired because this guy is disgusting. But the fact that he's this like high-ranking lawyer, like, like he would not make it this far acting this way. Like someone, I think another lawyer comes in. It's a female. He just flat flat out says, "But I mean, now the lawyer is here for help." He just flat out says, "I'm not going to work with a ten. That would distract me." I'm like. Why, like, who talks like this? Who talks like that? Ah, oh. anyway. So, Abomination was broken up by Wong. Wong shows up, uh, uh, talks to Jin, explains everything. I like Wong. I like the character. And Multiverse of Madness, that was kind of a mess. But anyway. Um... And then we have, uh, we see that the bad lawyer guy is dating a shape-shifting elf from New Asgard, whatever. Jin is trying to make her case for a mill. He's like, this is weird, but his seven pen pals are there. I guess they have a polygamous relationship. I don't know. Other people testify for him. Wong is late. Don't know why. Like, why? At funny tension. Uh, Wong. What, what else happens? Does he show? Yeah, Wong presents his case. We cut back to the elf in court and bad lawyer guy. It's just whatever, blah, blah, blah. We turn back to Jen and Abomination. He's like, look, I can, aside from not becoming the abomination I can fully control whether or not I can become the abomination 
uh, this is kind of weird. Wong was slave for no reason. And then they say, well, Wong, you broke him out of prison. That's a, that's a crime. And he's just like, I, uh, I gotta go. Bye. <laughs> like, all right. Anyway, Jin and her friend, she's complaining about being the She-Hulk, which I'm like, okay, tiny hints of character outlining. She just wants to be anonymous. She and her friend talk about how annoying stupid lawyer guy is while the new guy, Pug, shows up. She's like, yes, I'll testify. And uh, she just testifies saying that he, yes, could be dumb enough to be duped by a (laughs) shape-shifting elf. And uh, that's it. So... The uh, abomination gets out. Yay for him. Um, uh, Chin has a little interview here. Uh, Again, it's like, uh, are you working together because you're the abomination? I'm just like, they fought each other. She fought, or abomination fought her cousin. Like, stop trying to say that I'm just helping him. And then Jen uh, is heading like home or whatever. Tries She tries to get... She has a mugging attempt with four guys with like glowy construction gear. They said it's like Asgardian from an Asgardian construction site. And she beats them up. And some guy was trying to steal her blood. He said, well, that didn't work. The boss won't be happy. And uh, that's it. And then we have a weird, this is like, this weird ending. So Megan the Stallion actually, actually shows up in the case with the stupid lawyer. Um, and uh, I don't know why, because she had this person that was impersonating her. <laughs> so she actually shows up to the case. She's in the background. And then she hires Jen as her lawyer. Which I thought she was only in the superhero division, so I guess superheroes or celebrities. And is it Megan the Stallion? Which means Megan your or you stallion. And then they're dancing they're dancing in her <laughs> Jin's office. And they twerk together. Like uncomfortably Comfortably long twerk duration. Uh, and that's it. And um, that's the show. So, again, I don't know why I'm watching this. <laughs> like, uh, the, the, the show... I have no... I don't care. Like, you can call it political, social leanings. I don't care. In the right setting, it's great. Out of place, it lands flat. And what also lands flat is the humor in the show. Like, what what was funny? Like, Wong a couple of times, Jin once. Jin ripping into her former co-worker. Kind of funny. (laughs) But then, I don't know, man. It's like the show... Funny, oddly enough, I looked up the Rotten Tomato score, and it is now sitting at uh, 50% as an audience score. Um, we all know that uh, the critic score is can be inflated. I'm looking at you, The Last Jedi, Captain Marvel. But um, it is not, She-Hulk is not doing well. Like, I, I remember when it came out, and I was kind of surprised that it was sitting where it was when it first came out, and I hadn't checked it after last week. And then I checked it today, and I was like, uh, man, I did not expect it to be that low. Like, that's pretty bad. Um, pretty bad. So, where are we? Is this the list? Okay, cool. So, where's She-Hulk? I guess we can just go with the shows. I'm looking at a list of uh, 
all the shows now. So, WandaVision 80, audience score, WandaVision 88, Falcon Winter Soldier 83, Loki 91, surprise. Like what does it go? What if ninety three? Yeah, Shang Chi. Yeah, uh, yeah. Hawkeye ninety. Interesting. Moon Knight ninety. Um, Miss Marvel eighty. But She Hulk now sitting at fifty percent. Like nobody's even gotten below. As a show is concerned, nothing has gotten below what eighty. Yeah, all the shows are eighty and above. Miss Marvel sitting at eighty, and She Hulk is at fifty percent. 50. Now, if anyone out there is claiming misogyny, like, is that, like, who's, are you saying that none of the ratings are women? Men that actually don't hate women? <laughs> Sorry. Well, like, that is not good. I, I, you know, ratings are one thing, but just watching it myself, it is just not, uh, it's just dull. If you want to talk about a comedy, Nothing. If you want to talk about superheroisms, nothing. I know there's a thing in anime where it's like slice of life, but it, is this what the audience wants? Obviously not. So that's my quick review. If you've seen it now, let us know what you think. This is Adrian of the Dork Dads. Um, She-Hulk. Not that great so far. Am I going to keep watching? Yes. Will I watch if there's a second season? No. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not going to do this again. So that's it. Bye-bye.